Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for March 2024. This month feels to me like a simmering cauldron as the energies start to heat up in advance of the great big solar eclipse that we're expecting in early April 2024. And so in this video, I'm going to share some clairvoyant downloads that I've received around this month. And I've created this timeline here because there are several astrological events that have been called to my attention as really, really significant in this month. And I'm calling it the Eclipse Portal Timeline because I feel like the, the, the biggest energy event that is coming up here for us is going to be this April 8th eclipse. It's a total solar eclipse and it's going to be a big one. You can feel the energy from here, right? Okay, so this whole time here that March falls right in the middle of it is all really tied up in Aries energy. Okay, so what's Aries? It's the first sign of, sign of the zodiac and it has a lot to do with new beginnings, with a lot of energy, and with personal power, right? Um, sovereignty, um, purpose, right? A personal life purpose, um, individuality, independence. Okay, so all these things I feel like are the major theme here that's kind of brewing under the surface in March, okay? And I'm actually recording this video on this date of February 19th. And what's happening here is I feel like it's incredibly significant, very powerful event happening today. And this is uh, Chiron, which is uh, the asteroid Chiron. It's known as like the wounded healer. And it's conjunct the North Node in the sign of Aries. Just explaining a little bit why this Chiron and, and North Node conjunction in Aries is so important. Okay, like I said, Chiron is the wounded healer. Okay, so what it represents is our deep core wounds, right? Our the psychic wounds, spiritual wounds that we've uh, received during childhood and also ancestral wounds, right? So stuff coming up through the ancestral line that's karmic that um, when Chiron shows up, a lot of times these things will come up to be healed, right? And when it's conjunct the North Node, that is a, a super, super powerful conjunction because what the North Node is, there's two nodes of the moon and they're kind of imaginary points in, in time space, right? And but what they represent is the line of fate or destiny. Okay, it's our it's our timeline, and the south node represents our past, where we've been, our karma coming up from the past. North node represents the future, right? Our destiny or our fate. And even if it's past that time, um, that's this this event really is going to be influencing this entire window of time. So when these two things we're looking at personal power, right? Right? and purpose, self-purpose, soul purpose, it conjuncting that future um, kind of evolutionary uh, energy of the North Node in the sign of Aries, which is all about personal power, right? That it's it's like this, this explosive, almost um, super powerful juncture that really is, can trigger a lot of these energies of really stepping into personal power, um, these ideas of freedom and uh, sovereignty um, really coming to the forefront right now. Okay, and so like I said, this kicks off this entire time frame that we're looking at here for March 2024. And so what I'm really seeing is it's like this triple doorway, right? Um, before we get to the solar eclipse. This is a period of initiation, okay? Um, and I am seeing it really strongly as a time of preparation and purification for this intense eclipse season coming up later in the spring, um, you know, and especially zeroed in on this uh, total solar eclipse in on April 8th. Um, so when I went and looked at this clairvoyantly, okay, and claircognizantly, um, I was shown that the upcoming eclipses represent a rite of initiation, okay, in the whole ascension timeline. This is a very crucial point. 
Okay, um, and I was shown that this rite of initiation um, is going to be very, very accessible or available to some, but not all on the planet today. Okay, so those who have been appropriately prepared either by doing a lot of self-work or through uh, traumas, right, or, or trials where the universe is kind of <laughs> working on you, okay? Um, those who have been through those previous initiations will be ready in, in some way for this initiatory portal and, and to receive greater initiations at, at this time, okay? Um, so... March is here sandwiched between these two super powerful points, right? This conjunction of Chiron North Node in Aries and the solar eclipse also in Aries. And so what I'm seeing is that like, it's like this crucible where all these elements are simmering together and they're forging something immensely powerful. This period of time that we're in, the this portal of energy that we're in right now has the potential to really shift our entire generation it, it 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 feels like one of these pivotal pivotal points okay and we are either going to start seeing the outward expression of these energies um i'm feeling like we probably won't see a lot of exterior things happening stuff in the news right um in, in march we might but i'm feeling like it'll be after the eclipse that the kind of the uh waves of of this whole um event period will start to manifest out there in the world okay um so Again, these are themes of sovereignty, purpose, personal power, um, and it could be a collective power, right? Um, it could be movements starting. All right. So um, again, this event right here in February, the Chiron and conjunct North Node in Aries really sets the tone for the eclipse event. And then, uh, and it's also exactly one month later after that event that, that the March equinox forms, okay? So what I'm seeing is that this kicks off the energies and they start to build and kind of simmer. And then here in the equinox, we hit kind of a tipping point, right? Equinoxes are always a turning point of sorts. And this is when we, we actually move from Pisces into Aries. Right here, I've noted the new moon right here. So we've got, um, this is uh, March 10th. So a little bit more than a week before the equinox. Uh, it's another little boost of uh, new beginnings energies, right? Then we hit the equinox hit into Aries, and then these energies are really going to come at us, start coming at us pretty strongly, okay? Um, and so it feels like the equinox is kind of going to be like a step-up transformer, right? Taking these already brewing energies up another notch, okay? Then we've got the lunar eclipse, um, which happens on March 24th to 25th, and that is the sister eclipse to the total solar eclipse on April 8th. And this lunar eclipse is going to be like the, the final portal of initiation um, that we're going to pass through, preparing us for this really intense April 8th solar eclipse. Okay, so again, I was looking clairvoyantly at this, this uh, month of March, and when I've tuned in, I was really drawn to... Um, these energies of the lunar eclipse. So what I saw was this figure standing in a doorway. Okay, it was a, a like a masculine figure guarding the entrance, but it was like there both to guard the doorway and to admit people through. Okay, um, so asking what who this was, I was told it was Hermes or Mercury. Okay, so Mercury is the spirit of higher knowledge and also a guide between the worlds, right? And also an initiator of into the wisdom schools often, right? So he's showing up here to show us that this is a, again, a point of initiation. Okay, so what does that mean? The colors that I was seeing were red and purple. To me, that represents both the base chakra and the crown chakra. Okay, so it's a, a, another thing that Mercury does or Hermes is like, again, he's a messenger between worlds. He's a connector. 
right? So we're working with this heaven and earth kind of energy, right? So this is what's telling me that like, it's a really, really important ascension event because, um, you know, we're, we're really here as humans to, to bridge heaven and earth, right? And that's a part of this whole, whole journey that we're on, okay? Um, the doorway that I saw was narrow, right? And I was told that not many will be allowed th through, but most who aren't allowed through aren't even going to be seeking entry, right? Um, it's easily overlooked. It's the kind of doorway that most people can't even see, even when they're looking straight at it, okay? But there's a huge amount of power here, right? A whole lot of light streaming from this portal, Okay, and what I'm told is that it's an initiation both of purification and of second sight being unlocked. All right, so what's that going to look like? Well, we may be seeing another huge wave of awakenings happening in the wake of this entire portal of time after this uh, solar event, especially. Um, and also those who are already awakened are likely to receive a lot of light codes and upgrades, right? You may have additional um, gifts unveiled, or you may find your existing uh, gifts coming to another level. Um, if you have projects that are really related to soul purpose, um, this could really kick off, um, you, you know, and help you in getting those off the ground or giving an extra push to those, um, it, it can be a really, really positive thing, all right? And I'm told that you're either going to feel this or you won't, all right? And so those that don't feel this, this month of March may feel like a really dull, uneventful time. Think um, it could be feeling kind of dreary, thinking like, you know, pot on the back burner just kind of simmering away um if you do feel it it's gonna probably feel pretty unmistakable you're gonna feel the power of this but also keep aware that like some people are gonna feel this really intensely and have all these revelations and things and others are gonna be simply either holding space or it may just be a period of time of real purification right so if you have some kind of like tower sort of events, um, life falling apart, dark night of the soul, anything like that. Um, it's going to be really, really important to take the big picture here to recognize what's actually happening, okay? And to realize that if you're experiencing something like that, um, it's probably a lot of these karmic or ancestral energies that are just coming up to be flushed out, okay? So it's super important to Again, take the big picture. I'm told really working with hawk and eagle energy, if you work with the spirit animals, um, that can really help because it can help you to, to kind of really see what's going on, not just the little picture of, of whatever it is we're going through, right? Um, it's uh, talking about heaven, the heavens, and solar fire, all right? There's a lot of fire around this. Again, we're working with Aries, um, the fire sign of Aries, and a lot of initiation and moving forward kind of energy, and a lot of warrior kind of energy could be triggered. So we could be seeing conflicts or conflagrations or, um, again, movements coming out of this period of time, um, either starting at this period of time or um, sometime in midsummer after midsummer after the eclipse season is over, maybe starting to really unfold. All right, um, so a couple things here to leave you with. Um, when I asked for advice on how we can better move through this period of time with grace and ease, I was told March would be a wonderful time to cleanse and purify your home, right? Um, keeping our spaces bright and clear, um, smudging whatever it is that you do to clear out negative energy, maybe working on some body purification, um, you know, fasting might be a good thing, anything like that that's going to help to clear and purify. It's going to make this whole very intense period of time much, much easier okay if you can if we can proactively do that also bringing in the light right um really intentionally um 
bringing a lot of light into our fields that can help that might have a purifying effect. Okay, so I, I did a meditation um, today where I was just imagining my whole body filled with light and it felt amazing. But then I was a little tired that uh, uh, um, for a couple hours and I felt like, oh, it feels like I'm just kind of purging stuff out. Um, so those are great activities to do in March, especially this early period of March, in order to prepare us for this um, incredibly powerful and active time coming up in later March. All right. Um, also grounding. We want to be grounded to participate, I'm told. Okay. So we want to really um, be taking care of our bodies, making sure we get enough sleep, making sure we're eating well. And also if you can get outside, if it's already spring where you're at and actually get into the earth, maybe do some gardening, that'll be really helpful as well. And keeping an open heart, super, super important for this time because this really is the key, right, to this whole ascension thing. Um, there's a, a, the heart of humanity, the heart of Mother Earth are really opening at this time. Um, this is the new Earth energy that we're bringing in, the open-hearted 5D energy, but also with full awareness and full discernment, right, um, that uh, we need to make sure that we maintain our own space, that we're aware of our individual energy, and then we can start really connecting with others, okay? Um, so I feel like after this whole portal that we're in with the, the eclipses, we may see um, more of the, the kind of the new earth sort of people coming together, uh, communities, springing up, right? Heart-centered communities. The earth really is, again, it's a tipping point, tipping more towards heart-centeredness. And again, it, it may be hard to see, right? Because because it is this kind of energy that's being awakened, you're going to see the backlash or the resistance of um, very, very hard-hearted or closed-hearted, um, you know, things might happen. Again, Keep that big picture in mind, right, of what's actually really happening. And then finally, before I leave you here, um, just one more message from Spirit. Uh, when I asked about March 2024, they said, do not despair. Things are happening for a reason. Balance is being restored. Look at the big picture. Sing praises and stay in gratitude, right? So um, I have a couple of events coming up in March. And these are part of my Lightworkers Cafe series of events. It's free to attend. And one is a healing circle where we get together and work on each other. And the other is going to be a guided meditation event uh, right around this lunar eclipse time in March uh, to help us move this through this time with grace and ease. All right. So if you would like information about that, the link to learn more is in the description box below. Um, be sure to like and Subscribe if you haven't already, and remember you were born to be free.